Hi everyone! Are you thinking of which WordPress page builder you should go for? Here in this video, we have talked about all the fundamental aspects of Elementor and Gutenberg. So let's get started. But first, let's have a look at a quick introduction. Elementor is a freemium drag and drop page builder for WordPress. On the other hand, Gutenberg is a text-based blog editor in WordPress website. Now let's have a look at Elementor's key features. Number one, Elementor facilitates as a fully drag and drop editor in WordPress. Number two, it also known as one of the best header footer in no time. Number three, in WordPress library, you will find tons of Elementor add-on with 100% compatibility. Number four, as it's a freemium plugin, so you can download whichever you prefer. Now let's jump into Gutenberg's key features. Number one, Gutenberg is capable of creating multiple columns and layouts. Number two, it is also competent to customize individual blocks. Number three, with Gutenberg, you can easily embed social sites and its contents in your website. Number four, it is 100% responsive and one of the fastest editor in the world. Now, let's jump into the difference between Elementor and Gutenberg through a quick checklist. Who has better drag and drop feature? Well, Elementor is full drag and drop based page builder. You can use every blog or widget by dragging it on your website. Which one has better live editing option? Elementor will show you the changes you have made on your side immediately. For Gutenberg, you need to click on the preview button. Which one has user friendly yet advanced formatting? Both Elementor and Gutenberg offer advanced formatting. Gutenberg Editor allows advanced tracking. However, Elementor formatting is a lot easier. Which one has remarkable page speed? As Gutenberg is the primary WordPress editor, so it is obvious that it is comparatively faster than any other page builder. Last yet most importantly, device responsiveness. Elementor allows you to control how content will be shown on different devices. On the other hand, Gutenberg can only adjust your content for specific screens. Now, the question is which one you should go for? If you want to customize your website with limitless functionalities, then you should definitely choose Elementor. On the other hand, if you prefer more straightforward layout design, Gutenberg should be something you need. Finally, if you want to read the whole article on Elementor versus Gutenberg, then don't forget to check out the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to visit wpmed.com and follow our social channels.